right there, Hadrurus arizonensis, the desert hairy scorpion. That thing is monstrous. Scorpions. These iconic arachnids are well known for their lobster-like pincers and their sharp, piercing stingers. These creepy crawlies inhabit every continent except for Antarctica, and they are among one of the oldest lineages of terrestrial animals on Earth. While their venomous sting can be a little intimidating, I want to know just how dangerous these animals are. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and most dangerous animals on Earth. Why? To see if we have it all wrong. Are these animals truly something to be feared, or are they something else entirely? Today's mission takes us deep into the heart of the Arizona desert as I search for North America's largest scorpion, the Desert Hairy Scorpion. Are these arachnids something to fear? Let's find out. <gasps> Folks, today I'm crawling through blistering winds and scorching desert as I search for the most fantastic invertebrate out here in the desert. I'm looking for the largest scorpion native to the US the Desert Hairy Scorpion. So I'm searching these fantastic deserts here near Tucson, Arizona. And I am looking, searching, scanning, flipping every rock, every giant cactus. I'm uprooting it to find these scorpions. It's obviously a joke. I would never harm any of these beautiful cactus out here, but I will flip every rock I can to hopefully find one of these creatures. Cause I don't mind. I'm out here to put in the legwork. These animals are a lot easier to find out on the crawl at night, but uh, I've got a personal mission here to see if I can find one of these animals flipped under a rock during the day because uh, there's just something about finding a big, fantastic, flashy scorpion as it's hunkered down, just kind of chilling until uh, nightfall hits. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get some cool scorpions out here and I'm hoping we can get a gigantic one to show you. So I'm gonna get started. We're gonna be flipping rocks. We're gonna be walking around and hopefully I know what I'm talking about and I can capture one of these fantastic arachnids. Let's go. The desert hairy scorpion is truly a top invertebrate predator here in Arizona and it is no secret as to why. It pays to be big out here. Arizona's deserts can be harsh and full of competition and predators. Any leg up could mean the difference between survival and death in these landscapes. They may not be at the top of the food chain, but these scorpions are definitely thriving in the American Southwest. Got some good patches of rocks over here, so I'm gonna check them. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Little grasshopper, do I care? No, grasshopper, I barely even know her. <laughs> All right, let's get these big cojones over here. Fingers crossed. Nothing, you're killing me, you're really killing me. That was a big load of nothing. Oh, yes! Oh, man. <laughs> I got jipped for a second, folks. I thought this was a little desert hairy scorpion, but it is a striped tail scorpion. I'll still show it to y'all because he's cool and whatnot. Oh, not the scorpion I'm looking for this morning, but a fairly appropriately sized one. Ah, chill out, homie, chill out. I'm gonna have to catch him in a bigger container here to show you guys, cause he is, uh, he's not happy. All right, you guys ready for this professional grade striped tail scorpion capture? Ah, easy peasy, bro. Look at this little guy. 
So this is an appropriately sized scorpion here, and he's kind of rapid firing, trying to sting. So I'm wondering if he's gonna try and sting my hand if I bring him out to show you guys a little bit. But uh, this is a neat little uh, species out here in the Arizona desert. Just gotta dump him out a little bit. Chill, chill, dude. Take a look right there. It's a nice little scorpion. That's not a half bad little guy. Pretty neat, pretty cool. Not exactly what I'm looking for today. What I'm looking for today will be a considerable bit larger than this. But uh, this is a nice, appropriately sized scorpion. So far, it's behaving. But look at that. Oh, super, super cool, right? These aren't super toxic or anything like that, so even if I sustained a bit of a sting, I'm not too worried. Although I'd prefer to not be stung by this little scorpion here. Too, too, too cool. Well, uh, I don't want to linger too long, but uh, these scorpions, of course, like all other scorpions, they got the pincers, they got the stingers, they got the tiny eyes, they got the mostly nocturnal behavior. They eat all sorts of little stuff out here. Um, just about everything a growing scorpion will do, this little sucker will. So I'm gonna return him to his rock here without getting stung. There we go. Cool. Boink. And there he goes, right back into the safety of his rock. After scouring the desert landscape for hours, I was beginning to lose my optimism that we would encounter the scorpion I was after. We made our way into a wash to try our luck there. This wash looks pretty good, so uh, I'm gonna pop down here, popping down here, and uh, hopefully we can uh, find some uh, critters, some creatures. So let's see here. Oh. Sometimes these kind of little washed out ravines, you know, they got a good amount of stuff that's been wandering around at night kind of tucks into some of these rocks, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, this will be an easy flip for me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I can't lift that one. I can't lift that one. That's too heavy, folks. <laughs> that sounds real, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys like that, I know. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing, nothing. Check this one. Although I'm not sure it looks too good. Oh! Oh, just sleeping for the night. Whoa, look at this. This is probably one of the biggest wild scorpions I've ever encountered. Look at this, folks. Come take a look. Right there, Hadrurus arizonensis, the desert hairy scorpion. That thing is monstrous look at this thing folks oh my lanta let's uh let's get this sucker in a container and uh showcase him a bit because this is a monster right here come here come here come here come here come here it's nice and cool this is nice cool morning he's not too uh not too hyped up. Oh, come take a look at this guy, folks. Oh my gosh. This is our largest native scorpion in the United States. This is the desert hairy scorpion. A fairly common sight uh, in Arizona as you run into them fairly frequently. Look at that thing. Bro's waking up. Monster, monster, monster scorpion here. I think we'll definitely have to handle this guy because, wow, I really want to show you guys what's the true nature behind these scorpions, right? Are they aggressive? Is that stingers really something I should be worried about? Or uh, is it uh, pretty much just like any other invertebrate, vastly misunderstood and not interested in harming me? I guess, I guess we'll find out. Although not nearly as toxic as some of the old world cousins, the desert hairy scorpion is more than capable of inflicting a painful sting. 
I'm curious to see if these scorpions are defensive enough that being stung is a possibility. Generally, these animals have to be pushed to the extreme in order to lash out in defense, making an actual sting from one a statistical improbability. I'll have to get up close and personal, though, to figure that one out. All right, I'm going to see if I can get this uh, guy out on my hands. He seems a little flighty, but... Look at this monstrous scorpion, folks. This is one of the most iconic desert invertebrates I was hoping to find on this trip. Look at this thing. It is a beefcake. Oh my goodness. These are gigantic scorpions. And as you can see, this guy looks well fed. He's been finding tons of little invertebrates to eat out here in the Arizona desert. This is easily one of the largest scorpions I've ever found in the wild. And uh, I think you folks might agree with me that this is a gigantic arachnid. It's so much fun getting out into this kind of habitat because although you might think these kind of deserty, arid regions might not be the best for these gigantic arthropods, they actually are doing pretty well for themselves. There's giant tarantulas out here, huge centipedes, fantastically large scorpions, and more. This is truly a region of arthropods. You can find all manners of these fantastic creatures in a whole variety of different sizes. But look at this guy. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Wow. So you can see he's kind of probing forward with those pincers. Those pincers are actually covered in sensory hairs, as is this tail. And this animal is using these sensory hairs primarily to navigate and locate food. They do have eyes. They have eyes on the front of their face as well as on top of that kind of uh, body segment there, that cephalothorax. Um, but they're not super sensitive. They can't really see very clear images with those eyes. They're mostly for sensing light, maybe detecting a hint of movement. So usually these scorpions are kind of probing around with those big kind of clawed pedipalps uh, sticking out in front of them. And that's what they're kind of probing around, searching for food. Whoa, easy killer. Um, and uh, once they feel something, they grab onto it and that stinger comes down from on top, jabbing into the soft body of that prey item and delivering a viral load of venom. Now, these animal stings aren't necessarily dangerous to humans, but they can be considered quite painful. In fact, I've taken a sting from a desert hairy scorpion before, which kind of wasn't terribly bad, but it did leave some crazy inflammation. Let's take a quick look uh, at uh, what all that desert hairy scorpion bite entailed for me. Oh, gosh, this is more pain than the tiniest of paper clips jabbing into my skin. This is more pain than burning my tongue on a piece of pizza that's only slightly too hot. Ah, my skin is just not peeling off or in pain hardly at all. Ah. Just kidding, we keep it real here at uh, J Wow. That's Jack's Word of Wildlife for uh, the new folks watching. But take a look here. This is uh, just a few minutes after. You can see all that for a drop of blood. That stinger's big. So there was a lot of mechanical damage there. You could really feel that stinger go in. I mean, take a look at that stinger, folks. But you can see a little bit of inflammation. Uh, I think there maybe was a few little tiny little under the skin envenomations as well. Uh, but this is where the stinger for sure went in. That's where I for sure felt that pain. Um, I would say less than a bee sting. Um, but that's saying, I mean, this guy really wasn't interested in stinging. I bet if you got a full venom load, it would hurt a little bit more. Um, but I mean, I just could not get that stinger to go through the skin. Um, these stingers are really big, much larger than things that I'm normally doing like wasps and ants. Uh, which just slide in so easily. They're so small. Uh, but some of these larger stingers or fangs uh, can have some trouble breaking the skin. But uh, some decent little inflammation there. Nothing 
nothing too bad to report. Now, these arachnids are one of my favorites you can find here in North America, just mostly based on size alone. I mean, you would think you needed to get into the tropics or something like that in order to find a scorpion of this size. But this is just right here in the American Southwest, and it's one of the most common species you could encounter. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is a fantastically large scorpion. I'm glad that we found a big one and not kind of a, a medium or small size one to show you all because there's just something about seeing the biggest scorpions out here that's just so unbelievably special. Now, should you be worried about the sting of this scorpion? Well, there's a few answers to that question. Obviously, it can be pretty painful and it's a ton of venom that they inject. It can cause anything from light swelling and irritation, some inflammation, uh, and a little bit of pain to, you know, some pretty severe joint pain and weird kind of uh, um, sort of not necessarily chronic symptoms, but extremely sore and painful symptoms uh, that I've heard from some other friends who have been stung. Uh, but for the most part, check this out. Do I look like I'm in danger of being stung? This is a wild scorpion, folks. As you can see, it's just simply curious, probing around with those uh, petty palps in front of its face. And uh, it really has no desire to sting me. Well, why, why is that? If the scorpion, you know, the most popular thing, the thing it's known for is that stinger, why aren't these animals just so gung-ho in using it? Well, friends, that stinger, its primary use is for procuring food. It's for taking out invertebrates or even small vertebrates for this animal to eat. Its primary purpose is not actually for defense. Now, of course, these animals can use this for defense, um, but this animal does not feel threatened by me. It doesn't feel like it's in danger. I'm not trying to eat it. I'm not harming it in any way. I'm just letting it kind of walk around at its leisure. And so this animal feels no desire to fight for its life because it feels correctly that that's not something it needs to do right now. I'm not here to hurt it. I'm here to showcase this animal. So I'm not here to stress it out. I'm not here to hurt it or anything like that. So this animal picks up on that. It doesn't feel threatened by me. It doesn't feel like it needs to sting me. And so really at the end of the day, do you need to worry about a sting from this scorpion? Really not at all unless there's some unforeseen circumstances like this crawls in your shoe and you put it on and the scorpion's like, ah, I'm getting crushed! Quick, deploy the stinger! You know, you're really not going to find yourself in a situation where you would even be risking a sting from this species. Um, although they can be defensive, this animal's really calm and this is pretty... Uh, standard in my experience from this species. Not super crazy or anything like that. Um, just a calm, collected arthropod that uh, really isn't interested in harming you in any sort of way. Well, we've had a great time with our lovely little scorpion friend, so I'm going to get his rock back here. Right where we found him. And uh, I'm going to let him get right back to doing scorpion stuff. There he goes. Get your little hiney in there. Oh, wow, folks, that was amazing. Literally the biggest desert hairy scorpion I think I've ever seen and easily one of the largest scorpions I've ever found in the wild. That was super cool. It was starting to heat up. We were getting worried we weren't going to be able to find one, um, but uh, I think we did it. I think we were successful, and I hope that you learned something cool about these gigantic and fantastic scorpions. So, my friends, that's really all I've got for you today. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, but if you didn't at all, I hope I can leave you with this one, one thing. This planet, right, just like these deserts, are filled with a whole host of strange, unique, potentially creepy, crawly, or even dangerous life forms. The purpose of these life forms is not to freak us out or scare us. These animals are serving important roles in their native ecosystems as predator, as prey, as, as 
pre as prey species regulators. These animals are super, super important. And just because we might not personally vibe uh, with the dangerous or creepy or crawly doesn't make them any less important or pivotal in their respective ecosystems. And that's really the whole point of the show today is to show you guys that these aren't horrifying, bloodthirsty, creepy monsters that just want to hurt us. These are important, critical, and fascinating members of their respective ecosystems. So just remember, culture a little more respect and appreciation for the for these animals. They don't have to be your favorite. They don't have to be, you know, what you're uh, all about. But you do have to kind of understand where they fit in in the web of life. These arthropods, even these stinging species, are super important. Prey, predator, and all sorts of other things. So uh, be sure to appreciate your fellow earthlings. They're pretty stinking cool. Finding these large scorpions, man, I can't beat it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to leave you with something uh, that you can maybe ponder, think about for a bit. But other than that, that's all I've got for you. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope I can see you next week. Um, but uh, until then, uh, please take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.